In the journey of life, our understanding of consciousness plays a pivotal role. It's the key that unlocks the door to achieving our deepest desires and creating the life we envision. Understanding the mechanics of consciousness and how to wield its power can be transformative, paving the way for boundless possibilities and endless potential. At its core, consciousness is the essence of existence itself. It's not merely a philosophical concept, but a tangible reality that shapes our experiences and molds our reality. To grasp its profound significance, envision consciousness as a flowing stream, branching into two distinct parts. The conscious mind, akin to the surface of the stream, represents our awareness in the present moment. It's selective and personal, filtering through our thoughts and perceptions. On the other hand, the subconscious mind, likened to the depths of the stream, operates beyond our immediate awareness. It's vast, impersonal, and holds the power of creation. To master the law of consciousness, we must delve deeper into the relationship between these two realms. The conscious mind serves as the realm of effect, while the subconscious mind serves as the realm of cause. They are the yin and yang of consciousness, working in harmony to shape our reality. The conscious mind generates ideas and impressions, which it then imprints upon the subconscious. In turn, the subconscious receives these impressions and gives form to them, manifesting them into our external reality. This process is the very foundation of creation, where thoughts become things and dreams become reality. However, this power comes with a caveat. The subconscious mind operates based on the feelings and beliefs impressed upon it. It doesn't discriminate between positive or negative thoughts. It simply manifests whatever is impressed upon it. Therefore, it's crucial to cultivate positive feelings and beliefs to shape our desired reality. Through the mastery of our thoughts and feelings, we gain control over our subconscious mind. By disciplining ourselves to entertain only positive thoughts and emotions, we harness the creative power within us. The subconscious, like a faithful servant, faithfully brings to life whatever we impress upon it. But the journey doesn't end there. We must also understand the role of sleep and prayer in accessing the subconscious realm. Sleep serves as a gateway to the subconscious, allowing us to plant the seeds of our desires before drifting into the realm of dreams. Similarly, prayer acts as a conduit for our intentions, aligning our consciousness with the divine to manifest our wishes into reality. In the labyrinth of our minds lies a profound truth. The law of consciousness governs our every thought, feeling and action. To navigate this intricate terrain wisely, we must first understand its fundamental components, the conscious and the subconscious. The conscious mind, like the tip of an iceberg, represents the visible realm of our awareness. It's where our personal choices, thoughts and perceptions reside. We consciously select what to focus on and how to interpret the world around us. It's the realm of reason and logic, where we make decisions based on our understanding of reality. On the other hand, the subconscious mind is shrouded in mystery, operating beneath the surface of our awareness. It's the silent force that drives our behavior and shapes our experiences. Unlike the conscious mind, the subconscious doesn't discriminate or analyze. It simply absorbs and responds. It's the backstage of our minds, where thoughts become actions and feelings manifest into reality. To grasp the dynamics between these two realms, Imagine them as two sides of a coin. The conscious mind represents the front, where we consciously engage with the world, while the subconscious is the hidden back, where things happen without our conscious awareness. The conscious mind serves as the architect of our thoughts and ideas. It conceives of possibilities and formulates plans for action. However, it's the subconscious that breathes life into these ideas, transforming them into tangible experiences. Like a silent conductor, the subconscious orchestrates our behaviours and emotions, often without us even realising it. The journey of manifestation begins with the conscious mind, which generates ideas and intentions. These thoughts are then passed on to the subconscious where they take root and blossom into reality. It's a seamless process, where thoughts become things and dreams become manifestations. 
But here's the catch. The subconscious doesn't discriminate between positive and negative thoughts. It simply responds to whatever is impressed upon it. Therefore, it's crucial to cultivate positive thoughts and beliefs to harness the power of the subconscious effectively. To smartly use the law of consciousness, we must learn to work in harmony with both our conscious and subconscious minds. We must consciously choose our thoughts and intentions, knowing that they will be absorbed and acted upon by the subconscious. By aligning our conscious desires with our subconscious programming, we unlock the full potential of our minds. This law says that when we come up with an idea and then firmly believe in it, things start to happen because of our thoughts. It's like planting a seed in our mind and watching it grow into reality. Without this process, nothing would happen at all. The conscious mind plants the seed by strongly believing in an idea, and then it passes it on to the subconscious. The subconscious takes that belief and turns it into action, making it happen in ways we might not even realize. The subconscious doesn't come up with ideas on its own, but it accepts and acts on the ideas that the conscious mind believes in. It's like a powerful force inside us that turns our thoughts into reality. Humans possess the extraordinary ability to shape their reality through the power of imagination and emotion. It's a concept as simple as it is profound. What we think and feel has the power to manifest in our lives. At the heart of this phenomenon is the interplay between the conscious and subconscious mind. The conscious mind, akin to the captain of a ship, navigates the waters of our thoughts and perceptions. It's where we make decisions, analyze information, and choose what to focus on. But beneath the surface lies the subconscious mind, the hidden force that drives our actions and experiences. Imagine the subconscious mind as a fertile garden where seeds of thought are planted and nurtured. Unlike the conscious mind, which operates on logic and reasoning, the subconscious operates beyond the realm of logic. It's a realm of pure potentiality, where beliefs become reality without the need for proof or evidence. The process of creation begins with the conscious mind, which conceives of ideas and desires. These ideas are then passed on to the subconscious where they take root and begin to grow. It's a delicate dance between thought and emotion, where the seeds of intention are sown and nourished. By managing our thoughts and emotions, we gain control over the creative process. Like a skilled gardener tending to their garden, we must cultivate positivity and abundance in our minds. By focusing on thoughts and emotions that align with our desires, we can manifest our dreams into reality. This idea suggests that when we think about something and feel it deeply, our mind starts to believe it's true. Then we naturally act upon it. The process starts with an idea, then turns into a strong feeling, and finally leads to taking action. Ideas only stick in our subconscious when we feel them strongly. Once we feel something, whether it's positive, negative or neutral, our mind acts on it. Feeling is like the language our subconscious understands, and it's how ideas are communicated to it. So, if someone doesn't manage their emotions well, they might end up feeding their mind with negative thoughts and feelings. But controlling your feelings doesn't mean you have to suppress them. It's about training yourself to focus on positive emotions that make you happy. How you feel is really important for living a satisfying and joyful life. It's best not to dwell on negative feelings or think too much about the bad things in yourself or others. Doing that just tells your subconscious mind to focus on those limitations. Treat others the way you want to be treated and don't let negative thoughts or feelings take over. That's the key to living a full and happy life. Everything else is just extra details. In the grand theatre of our minds, emotions play a starring role, leaving an indelible mark on the canvas of our subconscious. It's a fascinating dance between our thoughts and feelings, where every emotion we experience shapes the course of our lives. Picture this, our subconscious mind as a vast canvas, where every emotion we feel leaves a distinct impression. 
like brushstrokes on a painting, these emotions paint the landscape of our reality. But here's the catch. Unless balanced by a stronger opposite emotion, these feelings will inevitably manifest in our actions. Consider the power of affirmation. When we declare I am healthy, we're not just expressing a wish for the future, we're claiming it as our reality in the present moment. In contrast, saying I will be healthy implies a sense of lack, admitting that health is not yet within our grasp. It's a subtle shift in language, but one that holds profound significance. The truth is, what we truly believe about ourselves carries more weight than mere wishes or aspirations. Our beliefs shape our reality, acting as the guiding force behind our actions and decisions. Therefore, to manifest our desires, we must first embody the feeling of their fulfillment. This concept may seem paradoxical. How can we feel something that hasn't yet materialized? But herein lies the magic of manifestation. Feeling precedes manifestation, serving as the fertile ground upon which our desires take root and flourish. Imagine it like planting a seed in fertile soil. The feeling of fulfillment is the nourishment that allows our desires to germinate and grow. It's the cornerstone of manifestation, the catalyst that propels our dreams into reality. Our emotions are the architects of our destiny, shaping the world around us in accordance with our innermost beliefs. By harnessing the power of our emotions and aligning them with our desires, we unlock the key to creating the life we've always dreamed of. Our emotions are like the compass guiding us through the journey of life, influencing every aspect of our existence. Whether we realize it or not, how we feel directly impacts what we experience in our day-to-day -day lives. Have you ever noticed how your body reacts when you're feeling happy, sad or stressed? Emotions have a profound effect on our physical well-being, reflected in our posture, facial expressions and overall demeanor. When we're filled with joy, our entire being radiates positivity. Conversely, harboring negative emotions can weigh us down, affecting both our mental and physical health. But here's the thing. It's not just about how we express our emotions outwardly. It's also about how we process them internally. Holding on to negative feelings, bottling them up inside can have detrimental effects on our health. It's like carrying a heavy burden that weighs us down, sapping our energy and vitality. Imagine this scenario. You're feeling deeply upset about something, but instead of addressing it, you push those feelings aside, hoping they'll go away on their own. Over time, however, these unresolved emotions can fester, leading to a host of health problems, both physical and emotional. One of the most harmful emotions to dwell on is regret or failure. When we constantly replay past mistakes in our minds, it creates a cycle of negativity that can hinder our progress and well-being. It's like driving forward while constantly looking in the rearview mirror. We're bound to crash eventually. Instead of dwelling on what went wrong, focus your energy on envisioning a brighter future. Visualize your desired outcome with unwavering belief and conviction. When you truly believe in the possibility of your dreams coming true, you set the stage for extraordinary miracles to unfold. It's all about shifting your mindset from one of limitation to one of possibility. By embracing the power of positive thinking and aligning your thoughts and emotions with your goals, you open yourself up to a world of infinite potential. Every change you see happening around you starts with a change in how you feel. When your feelings change, it sets a new course for what happens next in your life. All the things that come into existence begin in the hidden part of your mind called the subconscious. So what you need to gain is a kind of thoughtful control over how your subconscious works, which means being in charge of your thoughts and emotions. What happens to you isn't just luck or fate. It's shaped by the impressions stored in your subconscious mind. The subconscious doesn't pick and choose, it doesn't care who you are or what's true or false. It simply believes whatever you deeply feel to be true. When you truly believe in something, your subconscious takes it as fact. That's why nothing is impossible for humans. If you can imagine something and truly feel it to be real, your subconscious will make it happen.
Have you ever noticed how your emotions seem to influence the world around you? It's like they have this invisible power to shape the course of events in your life. Imagine your emotions as a blueprint, a master plan that dictates how things unfold. Now, here's the fascinating part. Every time your emotions shift, it's like you're rewriting this blueprint. Your subconscious mind, the powerhouse behind the scenes, plays a crucial role in this process. Unlike your conscious mind, which makes deliberate choices, your subconscious operates on autopilot, taking in whatever information you feed it and acting upon it. Think of your subconscious as a loyal servant, faithfully carrying out the instructions it's given. When you fill it with positive emotions and visions of success, it immediately sets to work, paving the way for those dreams to become a reality. But here's the catch. It doesn't discriminate between good and bad, right or wrong. Whatever you feed it, it accepts as truth and works tirelessly to bring it to fruition. So how can you use this knowledge to your advantage? Simple. Focus on what you want, not on what you don't want. When setting your goals, visualize them as already accomplished and allow yourself to feel the joy and satisfaction that comes with success. By doing so, you're sending a clear message to your subconscious that these desires are non-negotiable. However, beware of dwelling on the obstacles or challenges that may stand in your way. Every time you entertain thoughts of doubt or difficulty, you're essentially instructing your subconscious to make those obstacles a reality. Remember, it's like a blank canvas waiting to be painted. Whatever colours you choose to use will shape the masterpiece of your life. Now here's where it gets interesting. Have you ever noticed how your feelings shape your experiences? If you approach life with a sense of impossibility or defeat, you're essentially sending a signal to your subconscious to make those feelings a reality. It's like telling your gardener to cultivate failure instead of success. But here's the kicker. Your subconscious is not merely a servant dutifully following order. In ancient times, it may have been likened to a servant, but in reality, it's more like a cherished partner in creation. Just as in a loving marriage, where mutual respect and understanding reign supreme, the conscious mind leads the way while the subconscious follows with unwavering devotion. This dynamic relationship between the conscious and subconscious is what shapes our reality. Despite appearing as two separate entities, they are fundamentally intertwined, working in harmony to bring our desires to life. When we deeply feel something, when we truly believe it to be true, our subconscious mind accepts it without question and begins the process of manifestation. It's often easier to blame the world for how we feel than to admit that our feelings shape the world around us. But it's always true that what's inside us reflects in what's outside. It's like the inside mirrors the outside. The things we receive in life come from within us, not from outside forces. Everything you see is a reflection of what's in your mind. Your thoughts and feelings create your reality. When you change how you feel, your reality changes too. Your subconscious mind believes what you feel to be true, and because your reality is shaped by your subconscious, your feelings determine what happens in your life. You already possess what you want to be, but if you don't believe it, you won't see it. Searching outside yourself for something you don't feel inside is pointless, because you only find what you already are. Simply put, you only experience what you're aware of being or having. When you deny what you see and focus on feeling like your wish has already come true, that's when you make it a reality. Have you ever marvelled at the immense power of your thoughts and emotions? Imagine being able to navigate through life with unwavering confidence and inner peace, regardless of the challenges that come your way. It may seem like an impossible feat, but with practice and dedication, mastery over your thoughts and feelings is within reach. So how do we begin this journey towards self-mastery? The path may be long and winding, but fear not, for there are two potent allies at your disposal, sleep and prayer. These are not merely mundane activities, but powerful tools that can guide you into the depths of your subconscious mind, where true transformation begins. 
Now let's talk about sleep, the silent ally that holds the key to unlocking your innermost potential. Each night, as you drift off into slumber, you embark on a journey into the vast realm of your subconscious. It is here, in the hushed whispers of the night, that you can plant the seeds of your desires and watch them blossom into reality. But how does sleep aid in the quest for self-mastery? It all begins with the understanding that your subconscious mind is most receptive during the state of sleep. As your conscious mind fades into the background, your subconscious takes centre stage, ready to absorb the thoughts and feelings that you feed it. Picture your subconscious mind as a fertile garden, waiting patiently for the seeds of your intentions to take root. By harnessing the power of sleep, you can gently sow the seeds of your desires, knowing that they will be nurtured and cultivated by the fertile soil of your subconscious. But sleep alone is not enough. It must be accompanied by the gentle whisper of prayer. Prayer in its truest form is not a plea for external intervention, but a sacred communion with your innermost self. It is a silent conversation with the divine spark that resides within you, guiding you towards your highest potential. As you prepare to enter the realm of sleep, let your prayers be a beacon of light, illuminating the path to self-discovery and empowerment. Speak your desires into existence, not with the desperation of a beggar, but with the quiet confidence of a master craftsman shaping his destiny. In the stillness of the night, as you surrender to the embrace of sleep, know that you are embarking on a sacred journey of self-discovery. With each passing moment, you are drawing closer to the realisation of your true potential, guided by the silent whispers of your subconscious mind. Sleep occupies a significant portion of our time on Earth, accounting for roughly one-third of our lives. Yet, how often do we truly appreciate its value? Imagine eagerly anticipating each night's slumber, akin to the excitement of meeting a cherished companion. This shift in perspective transforms sleep from a mundane necessity into a sacred rendezvous with the mysteries of our innermost selves. Consider the wisdom embedded in ancient texts such as the Bible, which speaks of the profound insights that emerge during deep sleep. It's during these moments of profound rest that our minds become receptive to new knowledge and understanding, like a sponge soaking up the wisdom of the universe. But what exactly happens during sleep that makes it such a fertile ground for self-discovery? As we drift into the realm of dreams, our conscious minds recede, allowing the subconscious to take the reins. It's here, in the realm of the subconscious, that the seeds of our deepest desires are sown and nurtured. Think of sleep as a doorway to a hidden chamber within yourself a place where the ordinary rules of logic and reason no longer apply. In this sacred space, the boundaries between imagination and reality blur, paving the way for profound insights and revelations. As we surrender to the gentle embrace of sleep, our minds embark on a journey of exploration, traversing the vast landscapes of our subconscious. It's a journey fraught with mystery and wonder, where each dream holds the promise of hidden truths waiting to be unearthed. When we enter the realm of sleep or engage in prayer, it's like a harmonious union between our conscious and subconscious selves. They blend together seamlessly, much like the merging of the male and female energies within us. In this state, our conscious mind, usually preoccupied with the external world, turns inward to meet its subconscious counterpart, creating a powerful synergy of thought and emotion. Unlike the dynamic between a worldly husband and wife, where one may seek to change the other, our subconscious mind embraces our conscious self unconditionally. It doesn't seek to alter or mould our conscious thoughts. Instead, it lovingly reflects and manifests them in the outer world. Our life experiences then become like children born from the impressions and feelings nurtured within the depths of our subconscious during sleep. Consider this. The thoughts and emotions that occupy our mind as we drift into sleep shape the lens through which we perceive reality when we're awake. They serve as the building blocks of our waking life, 
influencing the events and circumstances that unfold before us. Just as the seeds we plant in fertile soil eventually sprout into vibrant flowers, so too do our subconscious impressions blossom into tangible experiences in our waking life on Earth. Now, do you ever feel like something is holding you back from achieving your goals? Surprisingly, the key to unlocking your potential lies within your own mind, specifically your subconscious mind. This powerful aspect of your consciousness has the incredible ability to turn your desires into reality. But there's a catch. You have to truly believe that your wishes have already come true. As we drift off to sleep each night, our subconscious mind springs into action. It's like a bustling workshop deep within us where all our desires and creations originate. Everything, from our thoughts and feelings to our deepest desires, emanates from within us, shaping the world around us in ways we may not even realise. But here's the crucial part. How we see ourselves determines what manifests in our lives. If we harbour doubts or disbelief about our desires, our subconscious mind picks up on these negative feelings and may fail to bring our wishes to fruition. On the other hand, when we wholeheartedly believe in the reality of our desires, our subconscious mind springs into action, working tirelessly to turn our dreams into reality. That's why it's essential to cultivate a sense of certainty and conviction in our desires before we drift off to sleep. By embracing the feeling that our wishes have already come true, we send a powerful signal to our subconscious mind, activating its creative powers and setting the stage for manifestation. What you draw into your life is not just what you want, but what you are deep down inside. Your feelings about yourself and others shape what comes to you. So, to make your wishes come true, you have to really feel like they're already real. This means immersing yourself in the feeling of already having or being what you desire. When you ask yourself, how would I feel if my wish came true? Focus on that feeling as you drift off to sleep. Your state of mind before sleep is crucial because it influences your subconscious mind. Once you're asleep, your subconscious takes over, and it's influenced by your last thoughts before sleep. So it's important to feel a sense of accomplishment and contentment before you go to bed. As you prepare to sleep, think about how it's like entering the presence of your subconscious, your everlasting partner. Your mood before sleep reflects your state of mind as you connect with your subconscious. So, if you want success, feel successful before you sleep. Lie down comfortably, feeling as if your wish has already come true, and relax into sleep. Even though you're asleep, your subconscious is always active, and sleep is the bridge that connects your conscious and subconscious minds. In sleep, you impress upon your subconscious your true self-concept, this intimate relationship between the conscious and subconscious is beautifully described in the Song of Solomon. Before sleep, immerse yourself in the feeling of your wish fulfilled, then peacefully drift into unconsciousness. Your realised wish is what you're seeking, and as you enter the realm of sleep, you carry that feeling with you. Keep repeating this process every night, feeling like you already have what you desire and witnessing it manifest. Never go to sleep feeling discouraged or unsatisfied, because your feelings at bedtime shape your reality. Before you go to sleep, never let thoughts of failure linger in your mind. Your subconscious mind is most active during sleep, and it sees you as you see yourself. Whatever you believe about yourself, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, your subconscious takes it as truth and brings it to life. So whatever feelings you have, your subconscious accepts them and turns them into reality. It's like a devoted partner faithfully reflecting your beliefs and bringing them into the world. So before you sleep, think positively about yourself, just like the words, Thou art all fair, my love, there is no spot in thee, suggest. In the journey of life, it's easy to get caught up in appearances, what we can see, touch and measure, but what if I told you that the real magic happens when we focus on what we feel rather than what we see? 
It's all about tuning into the power of positive feeling and believing in the unseen. Picture this. You have a dream, a goal, something you're passionate about. It might seem out of reach, impossible even. But instead of getting bogged down by doubts and worries, you choose to focus on how it would feel to achieve that dream. You immerse yourself in the sensation of satisfaction, contentment and fulfilment, as if your dream has already come true. Here's the thing. When you feel satisfied, when you truly believe in the reality of your desires, you're setting in motion a powerful force that draws circumstances and opportunities into your life. It's like the universe conspires to bring you exactly what you're feeling. You attract success, abundance and happiness because you believe they're already yours. But here's the kicker. The signs of success don't come before you believe in yourself. They come after. Your belief in yourself is what creates the evidence of your existence, not the other way around. You're like a perpetual dreamer, constantly envisioning a reality beyond what's immediately visible. And as you hold on to that vision, as you embrace the feeling of fulfillment and abundance, you pave the way for miracles to unfold. When you start feeling like your dreams are real, they start becoming real. Don't stick to what's happened before, knowing that there's nothing out of reach for your mind. Start picturing things beyond what you've already experienced. If you can think it, you can make it happen. Everything you see around you was once just an idea in someone's mind. They made it real by believing in it. So, the first step in creating something is imagining it, and then you have to truly believe it can happen. Our beliefs act as the threads that weave together the reality we experience. It's all about how we choose to perceive the world around us and the profound impact our beliefs have on shaping that reality. Imagine you wake up every morning with a sense of anticipation, eagerly looking forward to the good things that the day will bring. You understand that the world around you is not fixed or immutable, but rather fluid and responsive to your beliefs and perceptions. Here's the secret. The world won't change until you change how you see it. Your inner beliefs, thoughts and emotions are like a mirror, reflecting back to you the reality you've constructed within yourself. Whether it's nations or individuals, they become what you believe them to be. Your perception of the world shapes your experience of it. No matter what challenges or obstacles you may face, the power to change lies within you. You are the architect of your own reality, capable of transforming your life by shifting your beliefs and perspectives. The key lies in recognizing that you have the ability to choose how you perceive and respond to the world around you. You don't need anyone else to validate or oppose your beliefs. The only person you have the power to change is yourself. Instead of waiting for external circumstances to change, take charge of your own narrative. Convince yourself of the truth, the truth that you are capable, worthy and deserving of all the good things life has to offer. Imagine you close your eyes and visualize exactly what you want to happen in your life. You see it clearly in your mind's eye and you feel it with every fiber of your being. This is the first step towards manifestation, believing in the possibility of your dreams becoming a reality. Here's the magic. Once you truly believe in the outcome you desire, the universe conspires to make it happen. It's not about forcing or coercing others to conform to your wishes. Instead, it's about cultivating a deep sense of belief within yourself. When you hold the firm conviction that your desires are already manifesting, you set the wheels of manifestation in motion. You don't need to convince anyone else of what you want them to be. Instead, focus on cultivating the belief within yourself. The only barrier to manifesting your desires is your own doubt and disbelief. If you fail to convince yourself of the reality of your wishes, you hinder their manifestation. It's essential to cultivate unwavering faith in the power of your thoughts and the limitless potential within you. Our beliefs weave the threads that create our reality. What we hold to be true in our hearts has a profound impact on the world we experience. It's a journey of self-discovery and empowerment, where every belief shapes our actions and shapes the world around us.
Consider this. Every night before you drift into sleep, take a moment to cultivate feelings of contentment and purity within yourself. These emotions serve as the building blocks of your reality, shaping the world you wake up to each morning. It's a gentle reminder that the universe responds to the vibrations of our innermost thoughts and feelings. Your emotions act as a lens through which you view the world, colouring your experiences and shaping your interactions. The events of your day are like reflections of the beliefs and feelings stored deep within your subconscious mind. They guide your actions and reactions, influencing the choices you make and the paths you take. But here's the beauty of it all. Amidst the ebb and flow of life, you hold the power to choose. Your freedom lies in the decisions you make based on the beliefs you hold dear. By consciously cultivating positive beliefs and emotions, you pave the way for a reality filled with joy, abundance and fulfilment. In the grand theatre of life, every day presents us with a new opportunity to choose our mood. Yet beneath the surface lies a complex interplay between our conscious decisions and the workings of our subconscious mind. Picture this. You wake up each morning with the freedom to decide how you want to feel. Whether it's joy, excitement or calmness, the choice is yours to make. However, what unfolds throughout the day is not solely determined by your conscious intentions. Instead, your subconscious mind steps into the spotlight, orchestrating a symphony of actions based on the feelings it picks up on. Here's the thing. While you may believe in the power of free will, the reality is that much of your behaviour is guided by the deep-seated beliefs and emotions stored within your subconscious. It's like a hidden hand, shaping your actions in ways you may not even realise. Consider this analogy. Your subconscious mind is like a vast library, filled with memories, beliefs and experiences accumulated over a lifetime. As you navigate through your day, it draws upon this wealth of information to inform your decisions and responses. Your conscious mind, on the other hand, is like a curious explorer, navigating the surface of the sea while unaware of the depths below. So while you may feel in control of your actions, it's essential to recognise the profound influence of your subconscious mind. By gaining a deeper understanding of its workings, you can begin to unravel the mysteries of your behaviour and unlock new pathways to personal growth and transformation. In our everyday life, it's easy to feel like we're the captains of our own ships, steering our course through the vast ocean of possibilities. Yet beneath the surface lies a hidden force that shapes our journey in ways we may not always recognise, our subconscious mind. Every action we take, every decision we make, is influenced by the thoughts and feelings swirling within us. Our subconscious mind, like a silent conductor, orchestrates our behaviour based on the melodies of our past experiences and beliefs. But here's the beauty of it all. Just as the past has shaped our present, so too can we shape our future by making conscious choices in the here and now. Instead of dwelling on past mistakes or allowing negative feelings to resurface, we can take control of our destiny by changing our thoughts and feelings in the present moment. It's like rewiring our internal circuitry, redirecting the currents of our subconscious mind towards a brighter tomorrow. By focusing on what lies ahead and refusing to let appearances deceive us, we open ourselves up to a world of endless possibilities and opportunities for growth. Your feelings can actually create the reality you want. The role you play in life is based on how you see yourself. By feeling like your wish has already come true and peacefully falling asleep, you're setting the stage for your future actions. While you sleep, your mind rehearses and learns your part in life. Believing that your wish has already happened means you're already on the path to making it real. But if you go to sleep without consciously feeling this way, your mind will dwell on the events and feelings of the day and that will shape your tomorrow. You might wake up thinking you're making your own choices, but really, your actions have already been influenced by your subconscious mind. Your only freedom is how you react to what happens each day, but even those reactions are influenced by your subconscious mind. 
So it's important to consciously choose your mindset before you sleep, or else your subconscious will shape it for you based on the events of the day. Every reaction you have leaves an impression on your subconscious mind. When you feel something strongly, it can shape your future actions unless you intentionally choose a different feeling. Your thoughts and feelings are powerful. They can create. So it's important to use your ability to think and feel wisely. While you're awake, you're like a gardener picking seeds for your garden. But just like a seed needs to be planted and die to grow into something more, your self-concept as you fall asleep is like the seed you plant in your subconscious mind. Falling asleep feeling satisfied and happy leads to conditions and events that match those feelings. Sleep is like a doorway to making your dreams come true. What you feel before you sleep becomes real in your life. So, go to sleep feeling like your wish has already been granted. Just like what's in your mind becomes real in your life, what you feel before sleeping becomes real in your waking life too. In the quiet moments of prayer, we find solace from the noise of the world, opening ourselves to a realm of inner peace and boundless possibility. Like a gentle breeze that calms the stormy seas, prayer soothes our minds and prepares us to receive the blessings that await us. Prayer isn't just about reciting words or asking for things. It's a sacred practice that allows us to connect with our innermost selves and the divine. It's a form of meditation that quiets the chatter of the outside world, allowing us to listen to the whispers of our hearts. When we pray, our minds enter a state of relaxation and receptivity, much like the moments before we drift off to sleep. In this state, we become more attuned to the subtle nudges and insights that arise from within us, guiding us towards our deepest desires. But here's the secret to unlocking the full potential of prayer. It's not enough to simply ask for what we want. We must believe wholeheartedly that our prayers have already been answered. It's this unwavering faith that activates the power of the subconscious mind, paving the way for our wishes to manifest in reality. So, when you pray, immerse yourself in the feeling of gratitude and abundance, as if your wishes have already been fulfilled. Visualize your dreams coming true, and feel the joy and excitement as if they were happening right now. By aligning your thoughts and emotions with your desires, you create a magnetic force that draws your aspirations into your life. Now, in the journey of life, mastering self-discipline is the key to unlocking the doors of boundless potential and fulfillment. It's the art of harnessing the power of our thoughts and feelings to shape the world around us, creating a reality that reflects our deepest desires. Imagine a person who exudes perfect self-discipline, like a master sculptor shaping clay with effortless precision. They understand that their thoughts and feelings are just as real as the tangible objects they see before them. With this awareness, they choose to focus only on thoughts and emotions that bring them joy and fulfillment. Instead of dwelling on negativity or doubt, they cultivate a mindset of positivity and abundance. They know that every emotion they feel leaves a mark on their subconscious mind, shaping the blueprint of their reality. So, they consciously choose to align their thoughts and feelings with their highest aspirations. For them, feeling satisfied and content is not just a fleeting emotion, it's a deliberate choice that sets the stage for their desired outcomes. They understand that the universe responds to the energy we emit, so they radiate positivity and optimism in every aspect of their lives. In the realm of self-discipline, there's no room for doubt or fear. Instead, there's an unwavering belief in the power of their thoughts and feelings to manifest their dreams into reality. They know that by consistently focusing on thoughts that uplift and inspire them, they create a magnetic force that attracts their deepest desires to them. So, whether it's through visualization, affirmation or meditation, they make a conscious effort to immerse themselves in the feeling of their wishes already being fulfilled. They understand that the key to unlocking their full potential lies in mastering their thoughts and emotions. On the other hand, someone who lacks discipline struggles to believe in things that they can't see or touch. They often rely only on what their senses tell them, whether it's true or not. That's why it's important to ignore your senses when you pray, 
or try to imagine something you want. If you keep thinking, I want to, but I can't, you'll find it hard to believe in your wishes, no matter how much you try. It's a fundamental truth that we don't attract what we want, rather we attract what we believe we already are. This concept is rooted in the principle that our thoughts and emotions have the power to shape our external circumstances. Imagine yourself as a magnet, constantly drawing towards you the energy that aligns with your innermost beliefs. If you harbour doubts or uncertainties about your abilities or worthiness, you'll inadvertently attract situations and experiences that mirror those doubts. On the other hand, if you cultivate a deep sense of confidence and self-assurance, you'll effortlessly draw towards you the people, opportunities and circumstances that support your goals and aspirations. This principle underscores the importance of focusing on the feeling of already having achieved your goals. By immersing yourself in the emotional experience of success, you send out a powerful signal to the universe that activates the process of manifestation. It's like planting seeds in a garden. When you sow seeds of belief and conviction, you inevitably reap a harvest of abundance and fulfilment. The key lies in maintaining a steadfast faith in your ability to achieve your dreams, even in the face of adversity or uncertainty. So, as you embark on your journey of manifestation, remember to nurture a deep sense of belief in yourself and your inherent potential. Cultivate feelings of gratitude, confidence and joy, knowing that you are already in possession of everything you need to create the life of your dreams. Prayer is about feeling like you already have what you want. When your senses tell you that your wish isn't true, trying hard to change that won't work. Prayer isn't about forcing your wish to happen. It's about letting yourself feel like it's already true. When your feelings and wishes clash, your feelings always win out. Prayer shouldn't be a struggle. If you're trying too hard to feel something that your senses deny, it won't work. To successfully feel like your wish is real, you need to relax and enter a dreamy, meditative state, like right before you fall asleep. In this state, your mind turns away from the outside world and focuses on your inner thoughts. You're still awake and aware, but you have no urge to move or open your eyes. You can create this passive state by relaxing in a comfy chair or lying on your back in bed. Close your eyes and imagine feeling very sleepy. Soon you'll start to feel a distant, peaceful feeling and you won't want to move. Once you're in this state, imagine that your wish has already come true. Picture what you want in your mind and then feel as if it's already happened. Your thoughts might start to sound like someone else talking to you in this passive state, but that's okay. You don't have to reach that level of passivity to make your prayers work. All you need to do is create a relaxed state and feel like your wish has already happened. Everything you want is already yours and you don't need anyone else's help to get it. By imagining and feeling like your wish has come true, you're making it real. Once you fully accept that your wish has come true, you won't worry about failing because you know it's already done. After praying, you'll feel like you've seen the happy ending of a play, even if you don't know how it happened. But you'll feel calm and secure knowing that your wish has been perfectly defined. Believing you already are who you want to be is key. If someone believes in advice and acts on it, they make success real within themselves. So focus on feeling like the person you want to become, and you'll become that person. When you trust advice and put it into action, you create success within yourself. Thank you for listening.